Hey everybody, Retro Challenge Gamer here. With this particular level, I was actually inspired by one of the Ninji speedrun courses, specifically the one involving that 10 coin challenge where you had to go all the way down a vertical jungle subworld to pick up a 10 coin and then work your way back up. Using the 3D World's theme set, I saw the transparent tubes and figured I wanted to make a desert level with them. These two elements together, along with the standard set of desert-like enemies I wanted to use, this level came together quite quickly. I didn't really have to struggle at all at creating challenges and obstacles for the player. Everything seemed to just fit, and it was balanced, and it definitely was a level of mine that I didn't mind playing over and over again when the mood struck. This definitely gets the RCG approved award for me, and it is definitely recommended for you to try out. The optional challenge to get all six red coins in one go, though, is truly diabolical and was hard even for me to attempt. Good luck on that one. So first things first, for those who are wondering what the heck those little jumping spiked rats up there for, they're for speedrunners. Uh, there's no way to get around them except to take a hit, but they were meant there for those because I know damage boosting is definitely a thing in speedrunning. So for those who are wanting to get the world record in this level, you're probably going to have to use the damage boosting to get through those rats. And I think I gave enough power-ups for every single instance of them so that you can damage boost your way through most of the level, at least the non-vertical sections. So that explains the rats up top. But for the most part, uh, another level where I wanted to use the Spike and Pokey, which were new enemies at the time. And here is a hidden Cat Mario. There's actually two of them in the level, and they are super important for the optional challenge of the stage, which is the six pink coins. Now, yeah, you of course you have to skip the through the rats up above, which is actually harder to do the second time around than the first set of rats. So here I'm introducing all the elements you're going to have to deal with in the vertical section of the stage, which is coming up soon. I'm going to hit one up here, because why not? But yeah, now that I've realized, you know, the trees can be part of the level design, I use them a lot to my advantage, so that you kind of need them to get up to higher parts of the stage. There's no way to get up to some of the ledges unless you climb the trees, so... But these tubes, I really liked using them, and maybe in a future level that I'm going to do for Mario 3D World style, I'm definitely going to be using the tubes a lot more. Because they're, they're fun to do, they're fun to play around with. Now, here's the very bottom of the vertical section, and of course you need to use the big spike ball to get at the key. There's no other way to get in there. You have to lure the spike ball towards the key section. Now to get back up, there kind of is only one true way to get back up unless you're Cat Mario. So you have to go forward and use the tubes and everything to hit up. Now this section is a little bit difficult here. Uh, even I had a trouble getting through it the first time I created it, so I actually had to edit this section several times before I was satisfied with the challenge where it was just challenging enough to be worthwhile but beatable so I could actually clear check the level. So overall, this part of the stage is not as long. It's, it's, it's tricky if you don't know what's going on, but it's easy once you figure out where all the traps and, and spikes are. And then of course we have Boom Boom. And you don't really have to fight him too much. I mean, as long as you stay up here and allow the, the spiked balls to take care of him for you, he basically dies on his own. But you know, you can speed up the process along if you want. But he's not a hard boss in this stage at all. In the final section of the stage, this was where it gets a little hectic. And I do love the spike enemies because using the testing feature of the editor, you can totally decide where you want to push the spiked enemies so that their spiked balls do the most damage in terms of being in your way, being annoying. And then of course one last challenge with the dropped spiked balls destroying the floor underneath you. It's kind of hard to get through that without taking a hit. But that's the whole stage. 
Not very long, and uh, not very hard either. The first uh, pink coin is actually pretty easy to get. You just lure one of the spiked balls from one of the first yellow pipes here, to bust away those bricks, and you're good to go. And a special one up here just for kicks. Now in the second section, instead of going right into the pipe, you go left here, watch out for the spiked ball out of the pipe, and claim the second easy red coin. They get harder from here, folks. So now if you want the one and only bonus area, this is where you can find the second cat bell. If you lost the cat from the first area, you can come to this bonus area on the way down in the la uh, vertical subworld to go get the cat bell. But this is the second and last, so make sure you keep a hold of this one and it will become evident as you go through the rest of the level. Okay, now if you're really quick and make it over here, you may be able to get this very hard hidden one up. Because if you don't, that spike ball is going to destroy the platforms and you're never going to be able to get that one up. Now if you kept Cat Mario, you can climb up here and get uh, the third and fourth pink coins. But you need to keep Cat Mario. And of course it's a quick and easy way up to the top and is actually pretty good for speedrunners. So speed boost, damage boost through the first section and get Cat Mario in the second and then skip most of the trek up the vertical section in the second level. So a lot of speedrunning tips. Now this fifth coin is very hard to get if you did not keep Cap Mario to this point. But you need to hit one of the blocks over to the left here with Cap Mario. And opens up the path to the fifth coin. Now here there's nothing to it. You have to damage boost up here at the last section. You can use this one, hidden one up, take the damage, get the last and final coin, and then make it to the door right before the goal. So what is your prize for getting all six coins? Well, basically it's another one up and a 50 coin. Not too much, but hey, there's a reward at least something in here for you for getting uh, all six pink coins. Hope you enjoyed the level and try it out for yourself. See you later.